Disaster is my middle name, after all. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Deadhead Fred. If you're a little confused and wondering where Destroy All Humans 2 is, unfortunately, it's acting a little crash-happy at the moment. I'll try to figure that out, but in the meantime, I figured I'd just play a little of this, because I did quite enjoy it. I was actually planning on going to this after I was done with Destroy All Humans 2 anyway. So I figured I may as well just do this once, right? Ah, right. That's still a problem. Probably do something about that, huh? Maybe go this way. Or not. I have no idea. All I know is that I shut off the electricity last time and then that stopped the electrified water. Not really sure what else that did, though. I guess we'll find out in time, won't we? Oh, wait. Maybe I just need the stone head. Oh, wait. No, no, I don't. I need this one. But I need to fill it with water first. That's right. Guess I'm gonna have to find some water, won't I? Maybe that's just a gas leak. That seems like a gas leak, really. Oh, well. I don't remember what the buttons do. So don't worry about it too much. But apparently it is triangle. Checkpoint reached. Okay. I guess I was supposed to come back here. That's fine. This is fine. Right, it'll, it'll prompt you when there's something that you can suck up with this head. In the meantime, maybe I should default to this head. I mean, it is pretty intimidating. And it's probably the most powerful. I would imagine it's the most powerful and durable. <laughs> yeah, good luck using a gun against this. Well, maybe. Checkpoint reached, huh? All right, you gotta put up your dukes in order to change the camera angle. All right, I guess I need something else for that one. Not gonna do it that easily, are we? Probably not. Checkpoint reached. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure it just tells you checkpoint reached whenever you go through any door. Even if it's not relevant. Oh well. It probably doesn't matter too much. Nice censorship you got there. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean... Nice, tasteful cover-up you got there. To the gallery. Now uh, that's probably where I don't want to go. Eh, screw it, let's go anyway. Oh, the door's locked. locked. Yeah, I see that, thanks. Thank you for letting me know that. I definitely would not have known that otherwise. Wait, no. I need to be this one. Come to think of it, there was water in the previous room when it was burning. Maybe I can find some more if I just backtrack. I just backtrack. Who knows? Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> There we go. Oh, right. You gotta hold down the triangle, my bad. Obviously, you're not gonna use the thing that you... You're not gonna use the button to actually do your power, but something else to fill it up. That makes... Oh, okay. So that's not gonna work. The second you leave the area, for some reason, it gets rid of your power. That's gonna be tricky. All right, hang tight real quick. Well, there's your problem. I'm just stupid. Well, obviously, it was supposed to be this liquid. I had the right idea, but the definitely vastly wrong conclusion. My bad. Sorry about that. I don't know why I thought that was electricity when it clearly wasn't. Oh, well. Try not to make stupid mistakes like that again. And of course, I am talking to myself. Ah, there we go. That's how you do it. Eventually, gonna catch on. While running with a stone idol head, press the circle button to perform a ram attack. Ram attacks can smash enemies or weak structures. I'm almost afraid to see what Doc Steiner ke keeps in his fridge. <laughs> Ah, sounds delightful, doesn't it? Okay. But, compared to Pit, it can't be that 
bad. What even is that? Button? That's interesting. How do I press that button? Maybe there's something else that I need. Maybe I just gotta press triangle. Yeah, that might work too. Huh, look at that. They're kinda covered. Yeah, it's the pantry. I got a secret room to the pantry open before I even open the pantry. The basement. Well, apparently we gotta go to the secret passage first. Secret? That makes it take priority, don't you know that? What the? What's this? Huh, that's fascinating. Right. His jarhead has the ability to become invisible. That has to be related to that. He's probably the only one who could actually go through that. Jarhead has a stealth field generator. Hold the circle button to power up the stealth field meter. Beware the stealth field generator has a few loose wires. Stand still for a couple of seconds and the stealth field generator starts to malfunction. And Fred will be returned to stealth. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Indeed. Time to stealth it up. Damn it. That was a mistake. Better just get the hell out of here. Lasers can't hit, but they can't see. But well, luckily, the game is very generous and it will give me multiple opportunities to try it, right? Yeah. Did not expect that. My bad. I shouldn't have pressed circle again. I should have just stood still like it told me to. Of course, I had to add my own interpretations on that. I'm guessing what I gotta do is I gotta stealth until I get here, and then I gotta use the stone head to smash it. I think. I have no idea. Worth the shot, right? Nope. That wasn't it at all. It was a red herring. I was actually supposed to go through the door this entire time. My bad. Man, I am sucking out loud all of a sudden. I gotta do something about that. In my defense, the cutscene showed it focusing on the freaking artifact, and it made me think that I had to do something about that. You know? Ah, now I see. It's like a shortcut. Very nice. Great. But the second you enter it, it triggers the alarm and you gotta immediately leave. That's great. So I probably shouldn't have gone that way. But hey, I'm finding out a thousand different ways not to do it. So it's not a complete waste of time. Probably. Door's locked. There's a note attached that says beware weeds. Okay then. Get it then. Clearly this was not where I wanted to go anyway. What's this? Whoa. We got ourselves some belching fire up in here. I don't even know where half these things are supposed to be taking me. It was in the main room, right? In other words, I want to go this way, don't I? Nice painting, by the way. Okay, Just don't press the button. Definitely do not want to press the button. That activates a special power because it'll turn it off. Yeah, that was weird. It showed it belching fire, but then it stopped. Is that supposed to be temporary? I have no idea. You know what that means? Hang tight again. I'm beginning to think I should just go ahead and go into the basement. Door's locked. Budge. Never mind then. Hang tight again. Well, nobody ever accused me of being too bright, huh? I was supposed to do this, of course. Huh. Isn't that peculiar? Is 
Sorry about that. I need to get it together. Corpse head fills swept with air from strong wind currents. Equip the corpse head and enter the wind current to fly. Sure, why not? I'm sure that'll... That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It's turning into a blimp. Holy crap. Wait. Say, I couldn't see where I was going. It's not very well. Okay, that's some kind of barrier. Means I gotta go upward. That makes more sense. Ah, when Fred is wearing the stone idol head, he is immune to drowning. That's, an that's fantastic. It's probably because that's the only one that's not organic. He doesn't have to worry about it. Just a stone head. Although he still has lungs either way, so you would think. Actually, I guess the whole point is that it works like his iron boot, like the iron boots from Zelda. Looks they just, like it the just Doc has some killer weeds in his garden here. Yeah, it looks like it. Thanks, Dr. Cox. I mean, Fred. Wonderful. Better get rid of the weeds, huh? This is fantastic. I'm guessing the stone head will also sink in water. Which means it isn't what you want. Maybe it is, because... At least he can't drown. Ah, uh, okay. Right, okay. Gold spectacles, huh? That's nice. Red worm juice. Excellent. That is very cool. Anyway. Probably switch off with someone a little more lightheaded. He's probably the most lightheaded we've got, literally. He doesn't even have a head. That's what he's kind of upset about. If anyone's gonna be able to get on these lily pads, it's gonna be him. Can't move the camera enough. So I'm gonna have to take a leap of faith to some extent. Jeez. These lily pads actually make me nervous because they sink a little. Even with this state. Okay, grab the... Grab the weed killer. Do something. Oh, right. Gotta use corpse head for that. I'm catching on little by little. Probably. Oh, uh, this is gonna be fun getting back, though. Now I definitely can't. Let him sink. Come on. Jeez. Psyching myself out here. But I can't accurately judge where he's gonna jump from that angle. It's like completely head on. Okay, I just realized the pun I accidentally made there. There you go. You get to die in a horrible fashion. Real shame the weed killer just goes away. Oh well, it probably doesn't matter too much anyway. No more weeds anyway. Although... Great. Just super. I made it out of one nightmare and walked straight into another one. Cemetery in the backyard, note to self. Creepy. Place looks like something out of Better Hells and Gardens. Better Hells and Gardens? Okay. That just sounds magical. Knock, knock. I know you're in there. You shouldn't sneak up on people. It isn't very nice. Oh, look at you. You're an interesting fellow, aren't you? Just get out of Dr. Steiner's lab. And what makes you say that? Oh, my bad. Of course, I forgot. Yes, you're right. Don't worry. It doesn't bother me at all. I've seen much worse. In fact, Steiner did a good job on you. Some of the others were real freaks when he finished with them. I'm sorry, others? My name is Spade, by the way. Sam Spade. And you are? Fred. Uh, just... Fred. Deadhead Fred. I think I could be of great help to you, Fred. Why don't you come back in a bit and we'll talk? I'm a little busy right now. 
Okay. I'll just go F off and do my own thing then. Probably this way. Considering that's the only place I can go. Maybe I should switch off with this head for now. I mean, this is the head he's most used to. Most comfortable with, anyway. It's him, essentially. Or at least it's his brain and eyes. You know what I mean. Hey, at least you've got one on Hector Garney. Well, at least in terms of the eyes department. Wait, no. I'm going with this. I don't think so, pal. Your feeble flesh is no match for my superior stone bashing powers. Oh, right. It doesn't work like that. It's like Pokemon. Oh, crap. I don't remember how to do things. I don't remember how to do things. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. Luckily, there's a how-to. Counter-attack. You can't block an enemy range attack, but you can turn the tables by acting on fast with the right head. The head with the head icon. Okay. Sure. Awesome. Thanks for the tip. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Which head do I need? Guess I'll have to break in. Oh, okay. Was this the head that I should have used all along? Because it seems like nobody's attacking me now. Never mind. Darn it. What head is the best one against that one? Flashed it. I am using the. Am I using the right hand? I have no. I, I have no freaking idea. Ah, damn it! Damn it! I am clearly way out of this. Hang tight. Or you know, I could just avoid fighting them all together. That works too. Oh well. Red worm juice. Okay, that's weird. Why would a lever give me red worm juice unless, um, unless I just happened to run into it and I didn't even notice it? I think I would have noticed something red though. Oh well. It's quite a hedge maze, isn't it? I wonder if that guy's on the other side. Red worm juice? Now I definitely know I didn't see anything of that sort. Like it just appeared when he pulled the lever. Maybe that's the point. Oh crap. He was following me. Go figure. Although his AI pathfinding probably isn't that good. I mean, it is a PSP game after all. Oh crap. That came out of freaking nowhere, didn't it? You know what? Let's just try this. Let's see him follow me now. That's what I thought. Well, that's three of them. By video game logic, that must be good. Well, at least it seems to work to some extent. Obviously, once you keep moving too long, it'll start to fail. Like it warned about earlier. Oh well. Can't be helped, can it? Maybe there's another lever that I need to do. Maybe this isn't going on the normal video game logic of do three to do something. Maybe it's do four to do something. They're being bold, aren't they? What the? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Wait a minute. Pull them back and forth. Well, okay then. This might just be a little tricky then. Hang tight. No, so apparently all that maze does is give you the worm juice. It was never actually meant to be solved. Great. It's great. Definitely wasn't wasting my time there like a jackass or anything. No, I'm just I'm happy that I did that. Can't walk in. Guess I'll have to break in. That's what he meant. 
Oh, that's that's magical right there. All right, you can go ahead and die. Please die now. Oh, smash and all that good stuff. Hurry up and die. I'm bashing you as hard as I can, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything against you. Look right now. I need that. Maybe I gotta lure them outside. I could always just lure them outside and then, you know, get past them, right? Hey, buddy, this way. What's wrong? You don't want to do anything? I forget you. Okay. Sure. What the hell not? Why the hell not, right? Guess you were just sent to be the guard of this area, right? Couldn't care less about actually pursuing me, right? Hey, buddy. This way. This way, you idiot. Not, whatever. Guess it can't be helped, can it? Peace. I don't even know what that skull means. Come on, man. I, I assume that's some kind of head that you can do to yeah, mitigate. Spawn, fuckface. You can mitigate the bullshit, but clearly that's not going to happen, is it? Is it? Hang tight. Right. It completely slipped my mind that you have to finish them off. Sorry about that. I tend to forget a lot of things. All right, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Okay, he's stunned. Quickly, finish him off. Finish him. Huh. That's been forever, Lily. I didn't even remember that. Bill Fold, you received eight bucks. It's great. Okay, everything is... This has been a disaster, hasn't it? Oh, well. Disaster is my middle name, after all. And you know what you were signing up for. Okay. Maybe I should have pressed triangle instead. Sure. Yeah. It's the one time where you weren't supposed to press the actual power button. But whatever. It doesn't matter that much, does it? At least the doors are open to me. And I finally remembered what I'm supposed to do to finish off enemies. I just have to press triangle to finish them off while they're dazed. I guess that makes sense the more that I think about it. You opened the gate. What keen observational skills you have. Well, if you're intending to enter the graveyard, you should know it can be a little dangerous. You see, there are zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zombie schmombies. I met one of them. They're not that bad. There's also... Her. Her? Her who? It doesn't matter. She probably won't be there anyway. And then she'll be there. Hey, Buster, you said before that that you could help me. What do you mean by that? Yes. I'm a businessman, you see. I dabble in many, many things. But I specialize in dead things. And if I'm not mistaken, you're dead. Right? Are you? That is what they say. That head apparatus of yours is very interesting to me. It's removable, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but I don't know much about it. No, I don't mean to brag, but I can replace it with other heads when I want. That much I do know. Watch. Well, now that sure as shit didn't happen before. Ouch. Oh, got any others? Yeah, I do. See? Damn it! I was gonna use that! What's your no, problem, No, you man? weren't. It was worthless, just like that corpse head. I can smell a Steiner prototype a mile away. The doctor is quite the idea, man, but his craftsmanship is, uh, shall we say, unreliable. I guess I'm stuck with the jar, then. Oh, oh, no. Not at all. 
You see, I am an expert in the art of head reanimation. <laughs> I do wonderful work. Really? Yes, yes. We can definitely work out a business arrangement, you and I. I can show you lots of interesting things. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You can do a lot of things with a dead head, Fred. All credits. I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. Tell you what, I'll prove it to you. I have a few things to finish up here, so I'll be around. If you encounter zombies on your little trek through the graveyard, <laughs> and you will, remove their heads. Bring me back a few, five should do the trick, and I'll modify one for your use. Deal? Sure, whatever you say. Just go away. Jinx. Good. See you later, Jarhead Gator. Be careful if you meet her. She's not exactly right in the head. Can I rip off her head and use yeah. it? There's a lot of that going around. I mean, hey, whatever works, works, right? She's really that powerful. Holy shit. That's enough, Tululu. Come back here. You're bothering the man. I think he's been true enough tonight without you messing up his shoes. And just exactly what do you know about what I've been through? Oak Falls is a small place, and I have a lot of friends here. Besides, we've met you and me. Back when left to kill you. I was surprised that you came back. But that happens a lot these days. You know, you are so much more handsome now that you've passed over. Death becomes you, Detective Fred. You got me at a disadvantage here, lady. Who the hell are you? My friends call me Juju Judy. You can call me anytime. Well, I'll definitely Maybe I'll that. take you up on that there, Jude. If you can give me some information. Information? What information? All the information you need is that this is yours for the taking, dead man. Maybe some other Pass. time. Pass. Now cut the shit and tell me what I want to know. Okay. If you want to play R to get, that's fine with me. Maybe you will use your manly strength to beat the information out of me. Oh, that might be fun. But you will have to deal with my minions first. That's fine. Now that I know how to beat them. Nice try, Detective Fred. Now, may the best dead man win. That'll be easy. Ah, that's what you meant. Alright, let's try this. Uh -oh. Alright, let's try this. Come on. Yeah, take his head. I'm gonna need that. You have one out of five for mission Carpe Corpse Head. Ooh, you are better than I thought. Strong and handsome. I bet you are an amazing lover. Why don't you come down here Judy, and find out? I have to out. tell you something. It may turn you on. So settle yourself. If I had a mouth, I'd hurl on you. Eh. Wow. Alright, let's do this. Let's overwhelm him. Yikes. Oh, now she's attacking. Now would be a good time to block. Yeah, probably. Although, ripping their heads off works too. Come on. Alright, just take his head off. There we go, three out of five, baby. Not too shabby. Why don't you come back? Why don't you, you come down here? Tired. Perhaps we can end our struggles here. Down with me. Wow, Over that was my not very dead smart. body. I think that's the point. Let's see. 
All right. Now press the right key. Makes sense, I guess. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time. I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like brawls that I'm getting my ass kicked in. I don't know how to use these combos properly. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Be sad, have a good one, and try not to lose your head. Seriously. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here. Oh.